Hello and welcome to Tuesday DJ Gig Tips, brought to you by Vibo, the music planning app. This video is going out by request, and I realize it's Thursday, by the way, but I was talking about collecting old compilation CDs at like garage sales, Goodwill, Salvation Army, or from people just disposing of them to help grow your music library, especially your back catalog stuff. I've got a lot of CDs I haven't ripped into my computer, so I got a request to show how to make this happen. And before I get into any of this, I just want to say that I'm the worst tech guy in the world, so I apologize. For those of you who are really tech savvy, you're going to hate my video, and you're going to have a lot of criticisms about it in the comment section. And I understand that, and you're probably a better person to do a tutorial on this than I am. I'm using a PC that already has a CD slash DVD drive in it. Now, a lot of people have said, hold on a second, how do I rip in CDs if I don't have a CD or DVD drive on my computer. What do I do? Well, you can go on Amazon or go to Best Buy and pick up a, a CD or a DVD ROM drive for like 25, 35 bucks. It's USB powered. You plug it into your PC and away you go. If you're a Mac user, I can't help you. I know nothing about Mac. I don't know if it would work with Mac or not. The other thing is when I rip CDs in, I'm using Windows Media Player which opens automatically when I pop a disc in. I think when I first popped a CD into the computer, it asked me how I wanted it to be opened, you know, for playback. And I chose Windows Media Player. I had to install it on my machine. Now it just does it every time I pop a disc in. So today we're going to be working with Wild Gold Volume 3. It's a three disc set. I have Volume 1 and Volume 2 as well. They are both three disc sets. By the way, just for uh, your information, I love the second disc of Volume 1. It's one of my favorite compilation CDs of all time. I used to rock it in my car all the time. It's put together so well, it's really good. But this one's good too. We're going to rip it in because I've never done it. I rip disc 1 in. I've already ripped in disc 2 and 3 for demonstration purposes that I'll show you here in a little bit. So let's go to my desktop. That's what you're looking at. And yeah, that's what my background looks like go figure I'm gonna go ahead and pop the physical disk into the computer here's the disk and I'm gonna pop it in down here and what should happen is my computer should open this up automatically in Windows Media Player it just takes a second for it to read the disk and then it pops up and what it should do is start playing right away like it's doing right there okay now look at this, you don't see anything, it's just this note, right? That's all you see. But check this out, if you come up here to the corner and hit the switch to library button, voila, look at this. Now here's the problem. This is the wrong information for this disc. Oh no, it's not, it's the right information. Look, Flawless is the first track. We know three is one more time. Let's just give it a listen here real quick. Yep, that's correct. And I have a flange on, so we hopefully don't get a copyright. You can even check a couple others. Here's this track here. Oh yeah, that's the right track. This is a good one. Yep, that's correct. So all of this information is correct, which is something I think you should check every time that you try to rip a CD. Sometimes the information is not correct, and you're gonna have to do something to get the correct information. Um, how you do that, I, I can't show you today. Before you rip your CD, which the button is right here, I would go into RIP Settings. Sometimes by default, it, okay, format. Sometimes by default, it's Windows Media Audio. I've switched it to MP3. Then you go to Audio Quality. Of course, it's the very low uh, bytes per second. And down here, 320K, that's what I rip everything in. Now you can absolutely go higher than this if you go into rip settings and you go to format you can choose wave um, a lack flack whatever you want it's lossless now i've just done mp3 320k but flack is really good so you can choose that if you want to but i would definitely not rip into windows media audio at all i would always at least do mp3 320k that's what i use but you can absolutely do more than that if you want to so now that that's all set up, 
See if it even gives you, does it ask you where your destination should be? Yeah, no, it doesn't, but that's okay. I know where it goes, it goes to music. So we're gonna hit the RIP CD icon right here. And it's doing nothing. Hey, there we go. Now it's ripping. Now it's ripping on the last track I clicked on to listen to. It doesn't really matter though, because after it rips that one, it's going to go to the next track, which is 21. The CNC Music Factory track, which is actually appears to be tagged wrong. It says sweat. It's probably going to make you sweat. Look, now it's popped up to the top here. It's going to rip this one and go all the way down. So you should be able to change the tags on here if you really wanted to. Edit. And I type slow. gonna make you sweat I think it's all I have to do and I've changed that so it should go into the library like that now I hope Let's see what happens it's gonna rip all these and maybe it'll go back and rip that one again perhaps we can ask it to so this find album info you can do that and maybe change the album info if it's incorrect I'm not sure but anyway this CD is ripping and when it's done we'll come back and I'll show you what the next step is okay now it's ripped everything in now I looked at the listings and apparently this track is actually called sweat <laughs> sounds like gonna make you sweat but it's a little different it's actually called sweat that's how it's listed on the album so I'm gonna go to edit and I'm going to change this back to sweat because it's a little different than going to make you sweat. So, fine. Okay, we'll call it that. <laughs> so, it's ripped in. You can, if you want to, eject the disc. And put it away. Now, we're going to close this screen and I'm going to go into my file explorer. Which was on my extended desktop. I'm going to go to music. I'm going to go to various artists. And here we go. We've got Wild Gold Disc 3, Wild Gold Disc, Disc uh, let's see, 2, 3, and 1. There we go. Just check here. It actually ripped it in. It's going to make you sweat. I'm going to rename it. sweat okay so that's been renamed so everything looks good now what I like to do and this is just my personal preference I create a new folder and I'll call this new folder wild gold volume 3 so I spelled that wrong. Wold Gold. Let's rename it. Wild Gold Volume 3. I'm going to put disc 2, 3, and 1, all the discs, into this folder. Wild Gold Volume 3. Just like that. Just to stay organized. And I've done it with all of these. Here's Wax Tracks. There's three discs on that. I don't know. Here's a disco set. There's three discs on that. It just helps keep me organized. I like to do it this way. You can do it however you want. So now I'm going to actually open another window here. This here, I'm going to take this into my actual music drive, which is K. And in K, various artists. I've got all my various artists here that's somewhat kind of sort of organized and I'm pretty confident I got a folder here called wild gold I do it's right here if I open it, it shows me wild gold volume one and I got the three discs right there so I'm gonna kind of minimize that a little bit I'm gonna open it up here like this I'm gonna drag whoops I'm gonna drag this into here 
Should make it a little bigger so I don't screw it up because I will screw it up if I'm not careful. Oh, come on, stupid. Like I said before, I am the worst tech guy in the world, so forgive my clumsiness. And there we go. Now we got Wild Gold Volume 1 and Wild Gold Volume 3 in my main drive. And I can put them in Serato or I can put them in Virtual DJ or whatever I want. I usually keep this stuff in my main drive music folder. Uh, just long enough for me to drag and drop it into the folder I just showed you. Then I delete it. I'm going to keep it for now though because I'm going to put it in my other computers to update. So anyway, quick tutorial, quick and dirty tutorial on how I rip CDs into the Windows Media Player using Windows PC, of course, built-in drive. How I deal with tags, which you saw what I did. I made a mistake but corrected it. And how I organize my music. I hope it helps somebody. And I'm sorry this video was terrible. Like I said, I'm the worst tech guy in the world. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.